check out what's in here. It's a new book and today I'm going to tell you all about it. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pochagi, and embroidery. So today I'm so excited to tell you about this new book, Pochagi, The Art of Korean Textiles. This book is written by Young Min Lee, who is a Korean American Pochagi artist. And she's also the same Young Min Lee who runs the Korean textile tour, which I was so privileged to be a part of in fall 2023. So if you wanna see more information about her, you can check out her website, youngminlee.com, and I've included the link below. And I've also included links below to where to get this book. So those aren't affiliate links. I don't get any commission, but I'm just really excited to share this book with you. So I have been researching Pochagi and learning about it for about 15 years. And I have purchased every book on the topic that I can find. And most of the books about this topic are either Korean or Japanese. And I do have an advantage if I want Korean books for research because my husband often travels to Korea for work. And so if I see something, I can always get him to pick it up and bring it back for me. But most people don't have the opportunity to travel to Korea or to get books from Korea. So it's really exciting to see a book like this that is widely available to the English market and it's written in English. Um, this is gonna be such a great resource. And if I'd had a resource like this 15 years ago when I was just starting my journey, it really would have saved a lot of time in the whole learning experience to get to know what I know today. So what's in this book? Let's take a look and see. So the first part of the book is all about the history of Pojagi. So a Pojagi is a wrapping cloth, which is just like this piece of fabric that this book came wrapped in. Um, it came wrapped in that because I was able to get it in person. So if you order it off Amazon, it won't come wrapped like that. But if you are able to go to an event where Young Min Lee is in person, you might be able to get one depending on what she has in stock. And so the first part of this book talks all about the history of wrapping cloths and how they fit into Korean culture. It has lots of beautiful pictures. And wrapping cloths have been used in Korean culture for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And throughout history, they've had different names depending on who they're made for, what they're made out of, how they're made, what their purpose is for. So there's many different words that all come under the umbrella of Pujagi. And so this um, talks about all the different um, things and it shows lots of great pictures of samples. And then the next section of the book talks about all the traditional fabrics and threads that were used in the traditional Korean sewing. And this part was really interesting and helpful to me because I still have some scraps that were given to me from my Pujagi teacher when I lived in Korea and I brought them back, but I am not at all a uh, fabric and um, fiber expert. So this was able to help me understand the things that I have even better. So after talking about the traditional materials, then there's a section on all the different techniques that are used in making Pujagi. So there's different stitches, different seam techniques, um, knot tying, and different embellishments that are used. Um, and so those are all explained with clear diagrams to help you to be able to do those. And then the rest of the book contains projects, which are things that you can make with these techniques. So even if you don't have access to traditional Korean fabrics, that's fine. A lot of these projects are shown with using cotton and linen, and she really encourages you to use what you have. So some of these are wrapping cloths, as you would imagine, but then others are traditional things like these pin cushions 
and some are just general projects made with those techniques like this beautiful tote bag. So I already have in my mind a list of projects that I want to make out of this book. And then the last part of the book is a little gallery of some of Yang Min Lee's work. And so it has great photography to show pieces that she's made and it tells the whole story behind these pieces. So if you are interested in fabric and textile history, you will really like this book. And if you just want some unusual and unique hand stitching projects and some different things to try, then you will also love this book. So I highly recommend this book. You can check the link below to get it. And if you're interested in seeing some of my Pujagi pieces that I've done, you can see that at my website, evadastudio.com.